as you know and, and probably are able to see, I love analog synthesizers. A couple of months ago, I started deleting more and more of my software synthesizers because I just, I just love the analog workflow a lot more. But for certain tasks, software synthesizers are just better. There are certain things you can only do with software. You have way more instances, you have way more envelopes, way more engines, way more oscillators. You can combine things in a crazier way. And I just discovered, like a friend recommended to me, a new synthesizer that is done by a very new company consisting of people that are veterans of the synth making kind of community. And they made something that has like a small new twist approach to the sound designing. And, and I love it. I already used it on two or three like songs that I'm working on right now. I will continue working on one of them today and also try and show you this new synth and what it's capable of doing. There is a link down below in the description if you want to go check it out. There is a demo available, and as always, when you want to buy a new synth, check out the demo first and then decide for yourself if it's something for your workflow. Let's go. Got the entire project open right now, just 22 tracks. And you might remember this one. It's the one with the sampled horn sound. Like there's a train outside my studio. And wait, let's get rid of this one. The horn, wait. I can like, let's erase the facts. That's the train right in front of my studio. It's kind of funny, it works in this kind of context. But today I want to continue a little and um, I copied down some MIDI notes, very simple. It's like the main top melody, just two notes, very simple following the, the chord progression. And I got here the, the new synth that I was talking about. It's called Horizon. And let's go through the features really quick. I mean, some parts work as every other synth and some are new and really interesting. So first up we got like oscillator one and two, a sub oscillator that is usually an octave below. You can put it octave plus minus 12, pan, same thing. And then these little buttons at the side, they let you route the sound to different parts of the synth. So for example, F1, F2 is filter one and two. So you can have oscillator one to filter one, oscillator two to filter two, and you can change the cutoff frequency on both of them individually. But you can also send both of them to the same and control them simultaneously. Same for the sub oscillator, vibrato and tremolo down here, vibrato and tremolo. And what makes this one special and which I actually like, it has these oscillators like a real synth plus engines that are sample based, so rumpler based with really cool like sounds in there. Um, V1 to V4 are these. You can also volume pan and send them again to same um, effects, to the envelopes, to the filters, and also to the vibrato and tremolo section. And it helps you to generate kind of cool organic synthesized sounds. There's like plenty of stuff there. You got some ARPs. Let's maybe go through some of these. So you got classic sounds in there. Very, very EDM kind of sounds that sound very modern. And since it's partially sample based, I, I don't know, sometimes sampled stuff just sounds a little fatter. because it usually got already processed. Sometimes uh, people sample stuff out of songs that already got mastered, and it, it kind of adds a little to it. Let's see what else we got, oh, bass lines. Cool sounding and inspiring to start sounds. Let's check the plugs. I love plugs. Let's maybe put an arb of logic on top. I 
already love that one. The reverb is really cool. Um, so yeah, let's let's maybe go back to the main section, close to presets right here. So what's also really interesting, you got amp envelopes for all of those seven engines. So again, four sample-based engines and three oscillator-based engines. And you can do the amp envelopes for all of them individually, but you can also lock it and do all of them at once as, as you can with like a classic synth. Uh, LFO section is pretty straightforward. Filter section, pretty straightforward, two filters. But then what's the most fun, and that's something I love and I would love to see on every synth, is the section right here in the middle, especially the two ones at the top, the randomized. I don't know why, but I prefer going through randomized settings and discover new sounds than going through presets. And here it randomizes the four sample-based engines. So you can see V1, V2, V3, V4 are the ones also down here. And it randomizes the samples that are placed right there. So whenever I hit it, you see the names underneath change and you get a different sound on top. Let's maybe also make sure they're on. With X and Y, you can go between those four samples, plus mix the synth in engine in there. Um, and again, if I randomize it, and you could also automate this and have like a, a sound that morphs from one sample to another. So that's that's like the core principle of the synth, the core features of it. There is also a player where you can ARP, gate, and also play in chords, which is nice and handy. And then, of course, an effect section where you can load in different effects. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I actually found some pretty cool sounds. Uh, actually, so many I can't really decide. But I think this one could work like as an added sound and then maybe automate the, the morphing in between the samples on top. Maybe not as a main sound, but uh, let me try and find, find a main sound to be added on top because I think you have like a strong main sound that does 90% of the sound and then add a layer underneath that does something quirky and weird and morphs a little. You have the movement in there, but still the, the strong cutting through the mix of the, of the main sound. Let's see. This could be something that works. I'll, I'll continue working on this song for the rest of the day. Again, if you're interested to check out the synth, it's linked down below. Check out the demo, see if it's something for you. I like like having this like combination of a romper and synth in one, because um, that's that's like the one last missing gap of synthesizers that I'm missing. Everything else is, is pretty much covered with like Serum, Diva, and all of the analog stuff. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, go check it out. I'll now continue working on this song, hopefully being able to continue the arrangement to a point where I can send it to singer-songwriters, because I got a session on Monday actually with Robin Vane. If you're interested, tune in, and you'll see us writing lyrics, him singing, me not, and continuing working on the song and hopefully complete it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you tomorrow back again here in the studio.